Okay, YouTube. So, um, if you have a Grand Cafe grill like this and you're wanting to change out the clicker, you can do it this way. It looks like some of my wires are frayed. Maybe that's the reason it's not working. Right now, I'm currently using this gas lighter to light it up. I was having issues with this plug right here, my on off switch. Anyway, it was really tight and um, I didn't know this, but there's little screws here that you can pull off. I don't know if that'll help it, help it rotate at all, but it looks like I have a strip screw there on the right. Then I'm gonna have to get out. Um, this part looks like it's replaceable, but I don't know, maybe this rod comes out. I'll have to keep you posted on this project. But I, grew, I was grilling this morning. I had my last turn on this, luckily. It broke off in the off position. Of course, you turn your gas off. And uh, anyway, so I'm gonna set this down and go get something to eat, but I'll keep you posted on this if I ever do get this fixed. If not, this part of my grill is out of commission for now. Okie dokie. But yeah, this cover comes off. I just took four little screws off that look like this to get that piece off. Okay, so I kind of want to buy this part new, but I have this screw that's stripped. I think I'm going to put some PAM on it or WD-40 and try and get that off. Maybe I'll heat it up and that might help. I don't know. Um, it looks like we have the grill tube right here. That's So that's your gas supply tube. Okay, right here. You got this gas supply. And then this is this is the knob that was stuck. Okay, here's a good looking uh, D knob, but anyway, I don't know quite exactly what I'm doing, but I did watch a nice YouTube video giving me some good ideas on how to remedy this situation. And so, I mean, it looks like I might be able to just replace this top part, and then I'll be able to get my old grill knob back on there. If, um, if these D plastic holes are stripped, you can get some type of plastic and fill it in there so you don't really necessarily have to buy a new knob but anyway my problem was mine was so stuck and I waited too long to fix it I tried WD-40 that did nothing but this is how the piece should stay on and I thought well maybe I could just super glue that back on but then I said well hold on a second this isn't turning it's so tight I'm gonna have to it's so tight there's no way that's gonna turn even with even if I did super glue it. this one on the other hand this was the working knob so you can see up top that's the off position anyway this one turns you know the way it should with just a little bit of pressure so I'm thinking something's going on in here or in there it's messing up messing it up to turn and so i added some wd-40 to this screw my problem was i was using too thick of a bit so make sure that you use the proper size bit so you can see how i kind of stripped that out with the phillips but anyway get the right size bit for that machine screw so you don't have to buy a new one okay so that's done now i'm going to pull this off and i'll show you what it looks like again um, you can make a mark over here to know which is which, which side goes where, what's the orientation. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so this is a Grand Cafe grill. Um, my problem is my hot plate burner got stuck. But notice this little divot over here on this side. So I don't have to make a mark. I just know that the divot goes on the right. Okay, so here's my piece that got stuck. Anyway, it has a little cone in here. And maybe it wasn't all the way in the off position because you have this little divot right there. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway, that's what's inside. There's a little spring too that goes right here. So this piece, if I can see what I'm doing here, I've got these two screws and there's a little spring in there that you need to not lose. So be careful with that. 
and then I might need to take that cone out we'll see but um, maybe I can spray some WD-40 in there to get this knob moving properly but anyway we got it down that far okay so I got this little cone out and let me show you where this cone came from anyway it came and this little cone was right here just like that okay so these little things pop out this little spring was right there right there in the cone okay now you can take these out and you want to make sure let's see if we can pop that out there's a little tiny hole you probably can't see it but right there on this end anyway there's a little tiny hole down there you might want to put a little piece of wire through there make sure that that's all cleaned out anyway um, that's interesting it has this little piece right here but um, yeah so there's that okay so I got my piece here I'm just gonna let some heat get to it maybe some rust got into there I don't know maybe not but I'm gonna heat this up and see see if that'll help my turning at all so I'll let you know how that goes anyway I don't want to get it too hot because it's aluminum and brass but um, anyway I'm gonna have to get another pair of pliers so that way I can back it up and act as those two screw holes and then I'm gonna see if I can turn it after I heat it up I tried WD-40 that didn't work again I'm gonna kind of rotate this take it out of the heat see how it's see how it's doing I want to get it too hot but anyway so I'll try a little bit of heat and some pressure and then if that doesn't work I'm gonna add more heat and I it'd be nice if I could just buy buy a new part this says um, 0910 so if I lose those markings I kind of know what my parts gonna look like anyway so let me grab another pair of pliers and we'll see if we can get this to turn so that way we can get our gas knob working better. Okay, you can use a blow, blow torch and a, a clamp. I just don't have one with me, so I'm using what I have. Okay, let's see. Let's see what that does. Okay, so make sure you turn your gas off. You don't leave it on like I did, but um anyway it, what i tried didn't work so i'm going to heat it up a little more this time i have vice grips and i've got another pair of smaller vice grips that i'm going to put on the end there to see if heating this up will help at all this time i'm being a little more aggressive with my heat and putting this directly in the heat especially by the pipe side where the brass is last time i wasn't as aggressive but now this is in the this is in the flame we're gonna see if this works. I'll put it in for at least a minute and see what that does. Anyway, it's nine o'clock. I don't want to keep it in too long. That's why I'm that's why I'm timing it. Well, it's about 9:01 now. So let's try that and let's see what we can do. Okay, so I went ahead. I heated that up for about a minute. I put it in the flame of my range. So if you look in here. There's a little knob. Let's see if I can get this light on. Hold on just a minute. There's my light button. Yeah. Okay, so now you've got a little more light there. Anyway, so I don't have a work uh, bench block where I can clamp this in, but I just got two pairs of vice grips. Okay, they look like this. Anyway, and after I heated it up, I put my vice grips on it. And now hopefully you can see you, you can see that it's turning now except these vice grips came off so I need to put them on pretty tight so you heard the clip that means they're on tight and so now you can see right here 
it's turning just like that, just like it should. It's still pretty stiff. Um, anyway, but at least at least it's turning before before it was really stuck. And um, if I could slide this piece off, I could get a wire brush and maybe wire brush that out. But at this point, I'm almost tempted just to see if I can go down to Walmart or you know some Ace Hardware and see if there's a new part like this because this is pretty tight. But anyway, so there's an idea for you. Okay, so I don't know if I can really get this brass part out of the aluminum part. Um, where's my light? Anyway, I'm not sure if I can pull this part out. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep working it left and right. But there's this little knob on the inside. I don't know if you can see it because my other vice grips are there. But you don't want to go too far because there is an off switch. There is a piece of metal that stops this other piece of metal. I don't know if you can see that. But there's a little pin right in here. Let's see if you can see that. Anyway, there's a little pin right here, and it will stop by default. So make sure when you're turning this, you're looking at that pin because you don't want to force it past the stop point. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Anyway, like I say, there's a pin in there, so hold it like this. Hold it up and down, and then you can see with your eyes where that pin stops it. So that's fully on, that's fully off, and I'm just working this quite a bit. To try and get it so that way when I go to turn with my knob it'll be nice nice and easy okay now um, if I was to try and pop this off which I don't think I'm gonna do what I would do is I'd probably get a little hammer or a mallet and I'd tap straight down this way and maybe maybe I can force it down that way but I might try that. Who knows though, I may break it if I try that. But if you are gonna try and pull this aluminum piece off or move it down, you could, but I think it's, I think you, you don't wanna do that. Anyway, so just work it. And um, if that doesn't work, well, I'll just go buy a new part like this at the store. So we're going to try and get this back on and I'll at least have a chance of getting my knob, my, uh, my stuck knob back. Okay, hey there, I'm back. So what I ended up deciding doing is um, I'm just going to use needle nose pliers at this point. So I did heat that up and now if you see there's gas right there because I fixed this little valve. So I mean it still works, it's kind of ghetto because I don't have my knob but Anyway, that's low, and then I just come this way, and you see it turns easily now, and that's off. So I just turn the gas off right there. Anyway, you can buy, buy gas valve assemblies, but I called, and they don't happen to have the one that I need in stock, and I don't want to spend $26. I'll just use my needle nose pliers as a valve to... Um, open and close this anyway if I ever get ambitious then maybe I'll get a valve but at this point it works now it turns a lot easier so we're gonna we're gonna turn it to the right excuse me we're gonna turn it to the left to turn it on then you get you a lighter here and there you go so that's one solution probably the best solution would be find your model number and get a new gas valve assembly piece so the moral of the story here is if these knobs ever get tight and sticky you want to address the problem sooner than later because I waited too long and I ended up breaking this piece but what it should look like is right here it should look like this but I, I ended up popping off a little bit of this but anyway these are d-shaped right here and then you can just put it put it right back on okay